Are we ready for the uh, reaction video of Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett? Yes, I'm ready. Awesome. Let's do Let it. me go ahead and not close the link again this time and yes, share please. it actually. <laughs> Here we go. Share screen. Share screen. Chrome tab. Here we go. All right. Let's see. You guys can see it. Mm -hmm. Let me start it from the beginning. They get asked the question. Do Very good. Consider cryptos as worthless artificial gold. <laughs> uh, I, I knew there'd be a question on Bitcoin or and uh, I thought to myself, well, I watch these politicians dodge questions all the time, you know, and and, and uh, I always find it kind of disgusting, but they do it. But the truth is, I'm going to dodge that question because the we probably got hundreds of thousands of people watching this that own Bitcoin, and we probably got two people that are short. So we got a choice of making 400,000 people mad at us and unhappy, and or making two people happy, and that's just a dumb equation. So I. I thought about it. We had, we had a governor one time in, in uh, Nebraska and a uh, long time ago, but uh, he would get a tough question, you know, what do you think about property taxes or, you know, what should we do about schools? And, and he'd look right at the person and he'd say, I'm all right on that one. <laughs> he'd just walk off, well, I'm all right on that one. And Nick will say how Charlie is. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess he didn't really answer Those that. Those who know me well are just waving the red flag of the bull. <laughs> of course, I hate the Bitcoin success. <laughs> and I don't welcome a currency that's so useful to kidnappers and extortionists and so forth. Nor do I like just shuffling out a few extra billions and billions and billions of dollars to somebody who just invented a new financial product out of thin air so i think i should say modestly that i think the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization and i'll let leave the criticism to others i'm all right on that one <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was all, gentlemen. This that was good. two minute, yeah. So let's get back to our podcast and let me know what you guys think about that. You yeah, want to take I'm it gonna over? You, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to let you answer this. Well, over. thanks, thanks for that, JT. Um, I think uh, you know it's it's tough it's tough to say. You know, I mean, you would you would think that I mean, these are two gentlemen that have built their finances um, on a specific way of life. And let's face it, people don't like change or the new ways of thinking or doing things. That's true. Um, but these are very intelligent men that have built their lives uh, with the stock market and with finance. They, they are way more intelligent and knowledgeable than I'll probably ever be in my whole life about this. So I, I give them that respect. Um, and as you know, we were talking about the whole Gary V mm -hmm. NFT, which I still, yes. before we go, I've got to tell you what my yes. prediction is on that. I'm um, looking forward to that too. I think that the problem that I see with it uh, and something that, that, that they're not bringing up is that, and we've had this discussion privately, I believe, mm -hmm. um, or was it, I think it was when uh, JT was doing his, his uh, live podcast. with you on the yes. podcast. Yeah. Uh -huh. the, the problem is, is that people see money as actually having value and, and money doesn't have value. It has the potential of value. It's a promissory note of value because it's a fiat currency. Now it is not based off of a gold standard. There isn't a uh, a value of gold backing it. Yep. So since 1971, exactly. So cryptocurrency at this point is the same thing. There's just not a dollar you're going to put in your wallet that is that promissory note. Your promissory mode is uh, moat. Your promissory note is now digital rather than a tangible note. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think that like with anything else, I think that it has potential. I think that it, it could well be what we're going to do in the future and we could see that change. Um, my caution uh, when it comes to NFTs, cryptocurrency, is the fact that really they're putting the you they're putting the responsibility on you. Whereas right now, if you're doing a doing money through the banking system, uh, some of those funds are are federally federally backed and guaranteed against stock market crashes or runs on the bank. So there are, is a level of uh, a safety and security with it and with uh, cryptocurrency and with uh, um, with those types of transactions the uh, ownership and responsibility is on you which is a good thing and a bad thing but mm -hmm. if you get locked out of your account if your account gets somehow damaged and you can't get back into it there is absolutely no way you're going to get that value back. I won't say money because it's not really money, but you won't get that value back. It is on you. You're and onto you're something not, there. Yeah. And if you're not knowledgeable enough to know what you're doing, I would highly suggest doing the research before you deeply invest into anything at Coinbase, um, into Ethereum, into NFTs. You really need to be careful. And I think we saw this with the whole um, the whole artwork uh, yeah. boom, where people were spending you know hundreds of thousands of of uh, of dollars worth of cryptocurrency to buy widgets, mm -hmm. and I mean let's face it, they really don't have value, but they had inflated value because people were buying them up so quickly. But exactly. as far as it being valuable, is it really valuable in the long run? And uh, through my experience doing looking into uh, Gary's V55 announcement mm -hmm. and wanting to uh, and buy into Ethereum, um, there's so much money that you're going to be investing and spending in a in a, just a couple of transactions. I mean, Ethereum is at what right now? Twenty five hundred. Since $2, no, my friend, since no, 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 we're at 2950. Come on, don't, yeah. don't, don't come on. Don't well, no, 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 I, that was <laughs> the last kidding. time I looked. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm, then there's I'm really also bullish on it. There, I'm sorry, uh, no, no, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. And again, I, I, I don't, it's, it's like when, um, it's like when there was, um, when VHS, uh, VHS, beta, and laser disc came out. And there yep. was this mad scramble of what we were going to use, and everybody's all, "Well, no, you go to the movies. You don't, you know, you don't have a movie at home." Mm -hmm. And even though Beta was actually better than VHS, it was better quality, better audio quality, and less expensive than Laserdisc, and was a better home medium for everyone to use. It actually lost out to VHS, that was a clunky old style ripoff of eight track tape cartridges. And, but it was the most popular, so it took off and became basically the video coin of the realm at the time. Uh, and now, of course, stream is. So I, I see uh, cryptocurrency as the, as the trend, and it can take off, and it can be useful if used properly. My cautionary tale is, is really look into it, know what you're putting, what you're investing in and what you're using, understand that you are ultimately responsible uh, and don't forget that those transactions have gas fees. Mm 